Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review today. We're going to look at McFarlane's DC Direct Batman the Animated Series Maxi Zeus. This is the build a figure in this wave. If you buy Two Face, Holiday Joker, Lightning Strike Batman, and Batgirl, you get to collect a build Maxi Zeus. Maxi Zeus was in one episode of Batman the Animated Series, but he's been in the comics on and off for the last 50 or 60 years. He's a more obscure rogue, and I'm really excited to add him to the rogues gallery. This is the first officially licensed 6 or 7 inch scale Maxi Zeus. Here are all the figures you need to get. Here's the front of the packaging, and then here's the back of the packaging, focusing mainly on Maxi Zeus. So with no further ado, let's open them up and build Maxi Zeus. Alright, now that with these figures out of the package, here they are with all their Maxi Zeus pieces laid out. Two-Face comes with Maxi Zeus's head a couple alternate hands, and a lightning bolt, the Joker, Zeus's torso, Batman, his arms, and Batgirl, his legs. Let's go ahead and put them together. We'll start off with the first figure, Two-Face. So the first pieces to put together, we have Zeus's head, alternate hands, and a lightning bolt. The second piece is going to be Maxi Zeus's torso, and there you have it, head and the torso put together, Zeus starting to come together. The third set of pieces are going to be his two arms. Here's Zeus, with the head, torso, and arms almost finished. And finally, we have his legs that came with Batgirl. So now that we have Maxi Zeus fully assembled, here he is with all the accessories laid out. He has a total of four interchangeable hands and a lightning bolt. Maxi Zeus is a regular guy with no powers, and he always had sort of a thing for Greek and gods and that sort of stuff. He took it one step too far, ended up becoming completely delusional and thinking he was Zeus himself. He's sort of a crime lord in Gotham City, has a whole network below him, but he has a weird sort of gimmick and theme going on at the same time. I love the obscure rogues, I love the fact that we finally have this figure, so let's take a look. I start with his face. He has a very stylized sort of animated look. The beard comes out to a point. He's got a mustache, a little sort of crown around his head, like I said, animated, stylized figure. Big, giant, bulky torso, just like all the other animated figures, and pretty small legs. He has a toga going on, a little skirt thing, some wrist armor bracelets, and some tall boots. Single jointed knees, single jointed elbows. Kind of a basic figure, but looks very good. When put them together, I had a little bit of trouble here. Pushing this together had a large gap. I ended up having to heat up the top part of him and then shove the bottom part in, and now it fits just fine. And a closer look at his face and head sculpt. It's very animated, stylized, and cartoony, but I think it's a pretty good depiction of how he looked in Batman the Animated Series. I'm really happy we have this figure after so long. And then here's the figure, broken down as far as he can go with all of his removal parts detached. Now don't misunderstand me, I can take his head, arms, and torso apart, but they're not meant to keep coming in and out. These are the parts that are meant to be interchangeable. Now for his accessories, starting off with his hands, he has a total of four of them, two right hands and two left hands. Here he is, with his first pair of hands. These are his fists. And then here's his second pair of hands. His right hand is a gripping hand, his left hand is an open hand. And now for his lightning bolt. I thought to myself, why well, is this thing blue? It should be yellow, that makes a lot more sense, but it was actually blue in the animated series episode. Nothing spectacular, it's just a piece of plastic in the shape of a lightning bolt, cast in blue, but really happy to have the successor for him, as it fits and makes perfect sense. Here's a look at Maxi Zeus holding and getting ready to throw his lightning bolt. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at the figure and his accessories, let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, standing about 6.4 inches tall, which can translate to just over 16 centimeters, and I wish he was a little bit taller. Zeus is a pretty big guy in the cartoons and the comics. And for his articulation. Starting with his head, of course you're going to rotate side to side. You can look up and down just a tiny little bit. You can tilt his head also just a tiny bit from side to side. Shoulders on a ball joint goes up a little bit less than 90 degrees, up, down, around. Single jointed elbow with rotation. His wrist can rotate and it's hinged as well. Torso is one solid piece. Looks like no waist swivel, nothing going on there. 
legs, do the splits, ball joints inside of here. He's got a little sort of cuts in his skirt to allow him to do the splits. Legs go forward about that far, back not much. Single jointed knee, and then his ankle, forward and back, tilt rock, and no real rotation there. Here's Maxi Seuss standing in front of a coliseum. He redesigned all of his buildings, his entire business and infrastructure to have sort of Roman and Greek themes to them. Here's Maxi Seuss with a bunch of his henchmen behind him. He makes everyone in his employment dress like they're Greek soldiers, just feeding his fetish, his fantasy. Now starting him out, next to some other action figures, starting off with some other Maxi Seuss type figures. Here's this DC Direct animated series Maxi Seuss, next to my old custom Maxi Seuss. I got this guy probably 20 years ago. I don't know who the base figure is. I didn't make it myself. And it still holds a special place in my heart. It's a little bit of a larger scale, which I prefer to this animated series Maxi Seuss. Here he is with a female figure for the movie 300. I use this for Maxi Seuss's wife, and scale wise, fits him better with the custom than this animated version. Army building, henchmen, and thugs has always been a passion of mine. I even have Maxi Seuss henchmen. I mean, come on. Here he is, next to three old Toy Biz Marvel Legends, Hercules figures. Hell, you could even use this guy as a fill-in for Maxi Seuss. But I prefer to use one as Maxi Seuss henchmen. And once again, scale-wise, they're better with the custom than with this guy. And here he is, next to three different Hasbro Marvel Legends retro card Hercules figures. And now, with three more Hasbro Marvel Legends Hercules figures. I just couldn't help myself at this point. And then here he is, next to a wrestling creative superstar figure that I thought would make for another good Maxi Seuss thug. Now let's check him out with some other DC Direct, Batman the Animated Series figures. Here he is with the rest of his wave. This is a Target exclusive wave. They're cell shaded. We have Two Face, Christmas Joker, Lightning Strike Batman, and Batgirl. Get all four and collect a build Maxi Seuss. I'm not sure if there's a plan of chase variant in this wave. Some ways I hope there is, some ways I hope there isn't. And here he is, next to the most recent wave of DC Directs, the new Batman Adventures figures, Creeper, Firefly, and Anti-Fire Batman. These are not exclusive to any particular retailer, they're not cell shaded and once again, I'm not sure if there is or isn't a Platinum in this assortment. And now, with the recent, the new Batman Adventures 3-pack, this is an Amazon exclusive, Girls Night Out, consisting of Poison Ivy, Livewire, and Supergirl. Next. With McFarlane's recent Batman Beyond offerings, Terry McGinnis Batman, Old Man Bruce Wayne, and Ace the Bat Hound. Here's Maxi Seuss with the other build of figures from McFarlane's DC Direct animated series line. These are all Tart exclusive and cell shaded. The first wave, Collector Build Condiment King. Second wave, Collector Build Lockup. Third wave, Collector Build Maxi Seuss. The next wave, Collector Build Bruce Wayne. I'm really excited to have all three of these characters in my collection. Never has any company done Condiment King, Maxi Seuss, or Lockup in the 6 or 7 inch scale. I love the obscure villains, love adding them to the rogues gallery. I do wish Maxi Seuss was about the size of Lockup though. Here's a look at all the Batman villains, Batman the Animated Sears style. These are done with DC Direct, gonna add Condiment King to this mix. And here's a look at all the different animated villains, the new Batman Adventure style. Different style, same universe. They all look fantastic next to each other. Now let's check them out. Next is some action figures from different various companies. So we can see how he fits in both scale and style wise. In case you know those lines you can mix it with. Since he's a DC Direct animated series figure, they're typically the 6 inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the smaller action figure lines I collect and work my way larger. Here he is with some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures and some SH figure arts action figures. And now with some Hasbro Marvel Legends and Mafex figures. Here's Maxi Seuss next to a bottle of mustard. And here he is with some Mattel DC and Mezco figures. Then with both some Jazzwares and Mattel wrestling figures. And now with some NECA and DC Direct figures. Next with some Diamond Select toys and Jack specific wrestling figures. And finally with some McFarland DC Multiverse figures. So overall, this is a really cool Maxi Seuss figure and I'm really happy to add him to the collection. But honestly, the figure is not all that good. His articulation is very weak. I mean, nothing in the waist and the torso whatsoever. See on jointed elbows, see on jointed knees. 
He's a little bit shorter than I'd like. The way his wrists are hinged, I don't like it. It's hinged kind of like up and down, and I wish it was side to side. His lighting bulb accessory, I'm happy they included it. Overall, the figure is just way too stylized, way too cartoony, which is fine, he's from a cartoon. And just a lot smaller than I would have liked. I'm still really happy I'm in the collection, but it's a little bit disappointing, especially when you have to buy all four of those figures for kind of exaggerated retail to put this guy together. But if I could go back in time, I would do it exactly the same. If I were to rate this guy, first thought 6 out of 10, but honestly I'm just so happy to have Maxi Zeus, I'm going to bump it up to a 6.5, but I would just wish he was a little bit bigger. If he was lockup size, I'd be a lot happier. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.